did you get this number? You're the vigilante. That's a dangerous accusation. Yeah, there's the vigilante voice. It scared the shit out of me the first time I heard it. Listen, I got something that might interest somebody like you. I found out the police are busy putting more guns on the streets. What are you talking about? I've been listening in. They're selling crates full of a man undercover. The question is, why? And, and where? And who? Tobias. Right, uh, right. I'll show you where the sales went down, but you'll have to do the digging. Here's the deal, though. I want a nod in your manifesto. I don't have a manifesto. <laughs> you will. And then? You have what you need. So far, yeah. Okay, look, I, I, I understand if you're scared. I'm not scared. No one asked me to stay. Well, no one asked you to leave. You'll need to do better than that. <clears throat> I could use some help. I could use your help. Like a team? Sure, like a team. Not used to being a team. No, I'm not. Was that so hard? No. Let's go then. Sure. in and see what we can find. Are you sure that IP is here? It's in here on the top floors. How do we get there? We ride the cameras. Look at that. We got the whole place custom wired. These aren't typical game banners. They're armed to the teeth. It's like a fortress. I don't see an easy way in. You've done this before. I admit nothing. Oh, 
About that, we gotta cover it. We're more on top of shit than any law. Like Iraq says, adapt to change. That's the key, man. We really lived here and died here. Visit me? What? What? You watching me again? You watching me again? So what? You want some? Why not? All I got is mine. Everything else over here is yours. So fuck you. Fuck you. Fucking trying to date me. I ain't got shit except my word and my balls, nigga. Fuck that. You ain't got this? You want more. There. The IP address is coming from that room. There's a card reader on it. Shit. Key's hidden in this dog tag. Listen, ain't nobody stole from you, boy. Get your boss on the phone. Yeah, it'll take a few. It'll fucking take a few. Hey, but get your ass in here. What are you doing with that? I thought I told you. I just thought that you... Like, this shit won't fly. You remember Grandma's bulldog? dog? 
that ugly little fox. <laughs> always came running when you hollered for him, bro. But I always kept pissing on the floor, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, you, you don't. Listen, it cost me business. And who do you think's gonna win between you and business? Yeah, I, Mr. Quinn's on speaker. Business. Quinn. I put you in charge of merchandise and security. Now I find you still on my guest list. I won't be fleeced, Mr. Rank. Yo, chill. It ain't how it went down. See, I think you're confused. This is a business collaboration. Your guests are my guests. Listen, we'll talk this out at the auction. Don't be I... stoked, Mr. Rack. Where I grew up, we shot them between the eyes. Fucking leprechaun can suck my lucky charm. This fuck's a stoked. <laughs> Yo, it's, it's a weasel, man. <laughs> I don't see how you could get on the compound. Never mind near that room. Even the security locks on the doors are encrypted. That fat kid, Bedbud, he's gonna go in for me. Just like that? And why should he help us? I'm betting he's one mistake away from a bullet to the head. So when he makes that mistake, I'll be recording. Nothing like blackmail to change someone's tune. Complicated. If I can keep Damien focused on that hard drive, I can find Nikki. He'll slip up. I know Damien. I have to be patient. And right now, I need Bedbug. I read the news today. Something about a high speed chase near Parker Square had all the hallmarks of Aiden Pierce. Are you with Nikki? Of course. We read it together, and I highlighted all your signature moves. She was quite alarmed. She doesn't seem to know you like I do. Just get her on the phone. Now, now. The IP address. Yeah. There's something inside Rossi Fremont, some kind of small server hidden behind a locked door. And an army of gangbangers. Now you understand why I need your help. Have you found a way in? I'm working on it. Let me talk to Nikki. Was that so painful? Aiden. Hey, we're getting close. You'll be home soon. What's going on? This guy talks like you two are friends. We're not friends. Not anymore. Nikki, just don't listen to his bullshit. You afraid he'll give up your secrets? I got no secrets. <laughs> Seriously, Aiden? You expect me to believe that? I'm your sister. Well, shouldn't my sister be cutting me a little slack? Really? Oh, because I'm being held by your friend, and you need a little slack. Well, it sounds worse when you say it like that. <laughs> Aw, have I hurt your feelings? I forget what a sensitive boy you are. You know me. Heart on my sleeve. Fun's over, kids. I hope your plan's a good one. Nikki does, too.
I'm taking a gamble with Ben Bun, but I have a hunch he's my perfect target. He doesn't have much, has a lot to lose, easily intimidated, and ambitious, but lazy. All right, start with his home, tap his cell phone, just record everything he says. as well. I'll never see it coming. Remember when 
flying his crew disappeared? Yeah, they stepped out of line. Iraq put him down himself. I know, because I helped him bury the bodies. Man, don't say that shit out loud, son. You know your fan paranoid about that shit getting back to him? I'll say whatever I want. What? Are you paranoid too? Only when I'm around your ass, fam. There. That's the blackmail I'm after. Rack hears this little gem and Bedbug will be buried in a landfill. to suck my dick. <laughs> Man, you know. Man, you have right kid wasn't even banking. Up, Shot down in front of his mom. Got the cards? Yeah, B. Is that number two? <laughs> yeah, they in there. What about Iraq's cut? Oh, don't worry about Iraq. Worry about me. What's up? Got something you want to hear, bug. Trust me. So, tell me. I'm not here, fam. It's me. You got that dough on you? Always. Why? <laughs> no, this is this going to cost you. But it's worth it. Trust me. And yeah, we'll see about that. Serious? 
Iraq is your fucking problem. I, I, I. I mean, like, tell me what you know. This better be good. Look, it's simple. They gonna call you down to the bricks, and then they gonna kill you. That's bullshit, man. Whoa, hey, hey, what are you doing, man? Come on, fam. I won't talk. You know I ain't no damn snitch. <laughs> The guy who just saved your ass, and I can do a lot more if you cooperate. What are the bricks? Look, look, just get me out of here, man, and I'll tell you. All right, pay attention. and deal with these guys. These foot soldiers don't mean anything to Iraq, but a weak link is no place in a gang. I've seen this happen to a few guys. They don't pull their weight and they get torn down hard. But if Bedbug can survive it, show he's got what it takes, Iraq won't just save face, he'll embrace the kid. Show him off. Can you do that? I can do anything. Do I want to do it is the question. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yes. Uh, you know what? This is great. Yeah. Let me round up the boys and I'll meet you there. Is that? Come around back and find out. <sighs> I told you, he's bringing the boys. Ah, Jesus. I thought you meant the explosives. Then I would have said I was bringing the girls. But I brought that too. No, I need some help. I was hoping you could involve these guys in a gangland shooting of some sort. I got a few loose ends I need to tie up, and you know, you do owe me those favors. I don't owe you anything. Give me the explosive, something I can carry. Fine. These two nutsacks are some unfinished business from a Gabonese job. You should have seen the way that they tried to take me out. I am driving this beast 
of a muscle car, right out of the 70s. You know when an automobile accident was still called a fucking car crash? Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, so these geniuses here think they're gonna ram me off the road with some plastic, eco-friendly shit bug, but it just makes this weird ping and bounces off into a park van. Here, hold that. Great. <clears throat> Thanks. This is what I have for you. It's a uh, sticky bomb. See? It sticks. Cool, huh? Hmm. So these two idiots are sitting in their car, moaning and whining. They're all fucked up. I don't know whether to laugh at them or scream at them. Finally, I just pulled out my 45 and slammed a couple of rounds into their fat faces. So that's what I have. Do you deal with all this for me? No way. We could just do that. Do that. Yeah, that's like a like a practice round. What do you think, fellas? Practice round? Jordy. I don't need a practice round. No, just let me get a little clearer. Jordy. Fuck. Sienna Brick Factory. Rack's men were gonna kill Bedbug right here. <sighs> I don't need the complications. All right. Just lay out an ambush, take these guys out. Word will get back to Iraq, Bedbug's rep goes up, and then he's mine. Trying to figure out where these guys meet so I can have some surprises waiting for them. Ooh, booby traps, fun. tracks and the cars coming from both ends still have time
They must do the deals right here. Moving on. There's our boy. Friends can't come to the phone right now. They're dead. The fuck? Hey, who's still standing? Anybody? Come on, man.
He's getting away. He'll report to Iraq. Bedbugs as good as dead. he always wanted. Now, I need to scare him over to my side. A little blackmail threat should convince him to help me. I give, but I can also take away. Can he do that? Hello? Why'd you hang up on me? And what the fuck? Man, who are you? Just another player. They had a job for you. But it's not a job for Tyrone. It's a job for Bedbug. I'll be in touch. Man, but what, what is this? Oh, come on, man! Somebody's after me. Yeah. Uh, they're all dead. You, okay, so you, you gotta get me out of here. Yeah. You fucked in the head, man. Yeah, listen to you. Please. Let him go. No, 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 wait, wait. Shit. Kill me! Yeah? What will he do when I send him everything I've got? You wanna see more? No! Just erase this shit, please! Well, you play along like a good little bug, and I will. I'll be in touch. Nope, it sounds like the club don't trust our wreck. Tell me how to get close to Iraq. Uh, uh, you ain't getting close to Iraq, man. Uh, forget it. He never comes out. You want to rethink your answer? Uh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, the, the, the auction. Uh, he, he'll be at Quinn's auction. What kind of auction? Private. Uh, like, like, uh, not your normal kind of auction. Uh, in invite only. So get me an invite. Uh, who do you think I am? All right. All right. I'll be in touch. Be ready.
How did it go? Did you find a way into Irex building? Yeah, bedbugs on board and waiting for my call. Let's talk about the access card Iraq was wearing. That's our only way into his room. It's an RFID tag. We can clone it, but you need to get very close. Bedbug says Iraq's attending an auction. That's my chance. The auction, yes. Remember that briefcase Iraq had? Hard to forget. Crush the guy's skull with it. Right. He said it had the guest list inside. He can thank me now, because I've been tracking that case. Now let me check. That was quick thinking. If we get that briefcase, can you find me a name on the guest list? A name I can borrow. Exactly my thoughts. I'm sending the briefcase location now. I'll need to move carefully. If I can count on anything, Damien will be working at an angle. He's got another agenda. Okay, right now I need that briefcase. Just carrying a case of names and invites. You're carrying the future of our business. Background checks, indiscretions, tendencies. Everything Quinn needs to keep his guests loyal. Got it? Now pretend this thing is full of solid fucking gold bricks. I do, it's moving. Wait, I can't believe it. What? Quinn's guys are pulling some old school gangster shit. Briefcase swap. Really? Do those actually work? Never seen one of these. Why are they doing this? Did they fool CTOS? Anybody watching through a monitor would see every swap. They're trying to confuse the detection software. Interesting. They got the case on a boat heading upriver. I got a bike here, I'm gonna follow. Maybe I can see where they're going. Give me a sec. What do you have nearby? My guess, this'll be a short trip. There's another drop for another pickup. Okay. Nope. No. Nope. Wait, there's an old marina, bought by Lucky Quinn in 1967. That's gotta be it. Says it's been closed to the public since the 80s.
Damn, you better watch yourself. Excuse you, motherfucker. Hey, that watch it, pal. I'm sending the guest list from the case. Whatever this auction is, the club's not taking chances. Security will be tight. Okay, so we'll find you a suitable identity. Not a regular. Someone from out of the country. A guy they won't recognize. Okay. Okay. This one. Can you pull off a Mr. Pang? I don't think so. Any Europeans? Nicholas Crispin. 32 years old. Expat American. Hasn't been back in 12 years. That's the one. Oh my god. They list his preferences. This man is sick. And filthy rich, too. Will anyone miss him? What do you mean, miss him? Clara, if I'm stealing his identity, I can't have him around blowing my cover. I can't keep him alive. Oh. No, I guess not. My sister's missing, Clara. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get her. Listen, if this is too much for you, you can walk away. I'll understand. No, I'm fine. Nobody's going to miss this dog. This is a good match. He's supposed to pick up his car at the dealership. All right, I'll meet him there. This auto shop's a mad mile. I'm gonna need to hack the district control center first. Excuse me. That place is too exposed. Better go in quietly. Exotic and fast! <laughs> uh, 
Mr. Quinn didn't know which color you'd like, so um, you can take whichever. That one, all right? Get her ready for when I return. He must have a schedule or something on his phone. Can't let him get away. Heard stories about this fuck. Sick one. Quinn don't need the money. So why even associate with him? You ask me, he's just getting a foot in the door. Lucky's probably expanding. I'm not taking a bullet for him. That's for sure. I hear you. Look. The fuck? It's ours. Over there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, Looks like Crispin was on his way to pick up something called the Poppy Special. It's at a club called Infinite 92. Infinite 92. No official listings. I see mention of it in some thread here. Oh, looks like it's a gentleman's fetish club. Underground, of course. So the Poppy Special is a woman. That fits the profile Quinn had on Crispin. I doubt Poppy would have survived the meeting. What kind of auction is this? I think we both know the answer to that. I'm going to the club now. Crispin's invite is there. <laughs> 